In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your custom domain in system.io. Now, it's a really easy process, but there's a couple of really important things you need to get right. Otherwise, your pages just aren't going to work properly. So be sure to copy my steps exactly and you'll be good to go. Now, we're going to be using Namecheap as our registrar because that's why I've got my custom domain. If your custom domain is in a different registrar like GoDaddy or Hover, for example, you can still follow along to this video. So it's pretty much the same process or it's exactly the same process, actually. The only difference is that some of the buttons inside of Namecheap might just be in a different location to where you might find them in GoDaddy, for example. Other than that, it's the same process. So do follow along. And if you're ready to upgrade to a paid plan of system.io, then you can get 40% off via the link in the description below this video. Or you can even bookmark that link ready to use it in the future when you're ready. Now let's get into this video and I'll show you exactly how to set up your custom domain. So when we're in system.io, if you have not yet set up your custom domain, then your URL path here for any landing page or funnel or a website you set up in system.io is going to look something like this. It's basically going to be your email address followed by .system.io and then followed by a load of numbers, which doesn't look very professional. So it's definitely recommended to set up a custom domain. So in order to do that, you need to come over to the menu here and select settings. And then in the left sidebar menu, come down to custom domains here. And now in this section is where we can set up our custom domains. So the first step here is to click on this button here. It says add domain. And now this pop up appears here where we can enter our custom domain. So head over to your registrar. So for me, it's Namecheap and then select your custom domain. So in Namecheap, this is a domain I'm going to connect to system.io. So I click on this button that says manage. And now the first thing here is I'm going to grab or highlight my custom domain and copy and then I'm going to come over to system.io. Now before I paste it in here, what's really important is we have to enter www dot and then paste the custom domain in like this and then click save. And now at this point, now system.io gives you some DNS settings. So this is what we need to now enter in Namecheap in order for our domain to be connected to our system.io account. So before we do that, I'm just going to leave this box open at the moment, go back to my registrar name cheap and then we need to click on advanced dns and now under advanced dns if you've not used this domain yet for anything else you're probably going to have some cname records set up as a parks domain so these two records you just delete everything that's in here so it's going to click on the little trash icon and click yes to delete the record now delete the next one so now we have a blank slate with no records so we need to go to this button here that says add new record and then from the drop down menu scroll down and choose this one that says cname record click here. So now we've got a host and a value that we need to enter in here and here. So we need to head on back to system.io to grab those records that we need to enter into here. So now we're back in system.io. So this side here relates to the host, which is this part here. And this part here relates to uh, the value, which is going to be pasted in here. However, there's something really important you need to be aware of. We don't need to copy everything that's in here. So for the first part, we just want to grab this www, but without that dot. OK, so it's just www we're copying and then come back over to Namecheap and paste that in under the host. And then we go back to system.io and on this side for the value, we're going to copy everything. If you notice at the very end, there is a dot here, which we do want to grab as well. So grab everything here, including that dot, copy and then paste it into value here and then on the far right you'll see this little green check mark click the green check and that's our first record set up now we click on add new record again and then we now hit cname one more time go back over to system.io and now for the host side we want to copy from the beginning part of this record up until but not including that dot so you can see there's a little dot there and then it's my domain name so we want to ignore all of that part so instead just grab from the beginning of the record up until but not including that dot copy and come back over to namecheap and then we're going to paste that into the host side and go back to system.io and then on this value side we're going to copy everything including the little dot at the end so everything on this side and then bring it back and paste it in value and then check the green tick mark to save your record and that's saved and now we want to head back to system.io and we can close this box now and our custom domain is currently here and it's saying pending validation so this can take up to 24 hours so don't worry if it's taking a bit of time usually for myself i'm finding it takes you know, usually about half an hour. So it's usually quite quick, but it can take up to 24 hours. So it's taking longer for you. Don't worry, just wait. And when it's ready, the status will change here where it says ready to use. Now, if you want to test your domain as well, you can copy this domain 
and then come over to this website, which is whatsmydns.net. If you put it in here, this will show you when your domain has actually propagated across the whole internet. And once that's occurred, then your domain is actually ready for you to use in system.io. And then the status will change to ready to use. But if I show you what happens here, if I click search, now this website's going to check all the different locations across the internet. And you can see on this map, everywhere where there's a green check mark, it's already propagated. But there's a few countries where it's still not propagated yet. So once all of these are turned to green tick mark, then your domain's ready. And like I said, it's taking for me on average about half an hour. So it's usually not long. That being said, once your domain is ready and you see the status has changed to ready to use and you want to connect it then to a particular landing page or a funnel or a website, what you want to do, let's head over to, let's say I'm wanting to set up that custom domain on this funnel here. So as we can see, this funnel currently has the default URL path, which we don't want. So in order to connect the custom domain, come over to this button that says funnel settings. And now the second option where it says funnel domain, we've got a drop down menu where we can select our custom domains will appear here. Now, the one I've just set up is not yet showing here because it's not yet ready to use. So once that status has changed to ready to use, that domain will then be showing in your list. If I just connect it to this one, this custom domain I set up, I'm not actually using it for anything at the moment. So if I select this one and I'll be able, because I'm not using it, I'll be able to connect it to this funnel. So I'm going to click on save. And now we see the custom domain has changed here. And now if we look at the order of our funnel pages, I'm currently on the order form. And as we can see that because the order form has this light blue background to it, where the upsell page, downsell page and thank you page has slightly white background, which means those pages are not selected. So since the order form is selected, that is essentially the first page of our funnel, which is essentially the home page. So because this is the home page, I'm going to delete these numbers after. I don't want that. And now the order form page, i.e. the first page of my funnel, is going to be my full custom domain URL. And if we then go to the second page, which is the upsell page, we've got these weird numbers here again. Now you can't delete these as well because only one page can be the home page essentially. So for the second page, you can name it. So since this particular funnel is offering an upsell product, i.e. a second product and then a downsell product, a third product, you can change this to something like offer one. And then I'll do the same thing for the downsell page, change this to offer two. I mean, what I would actually do, whatever product I was selling on these pages, I'd just label it as that product name probably. And on the thank you page, I haven't actually selected the page even here, select template and on the thank you page, I'm just going to rename that to thank you. And that's it. Now, if you've got value out this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you're stuck with anything else in System.io, then I've got lots of System.io tutorials on my channel and you can see my System.io playlist here.